also, um, I was on my way to the gym. I'm actually at the gym. I just got here. But there's this little thrift shop outside, like right around the corner from the gym. I pass it every time. I've never stopped there. So remember, I was saying how I've been in a funk and I really let God slip from the middle. Um, and then I kind of, you know, I circled around and I've really been faithful to my devotions and, you know, just asking God to lead me and, you know, bless this journey of mine. Well, let me tell you, his blessings rain on down because this little sh thrift shop that looks like a hole in the wall, um, I turn the corner to go to the gym and what is sitting outside the thrift shop but a Stairmaster. And I don't mean like the cheapy ones that you buy for a home gym, like you know, the at-home ones. I mean like a gym grade, actual Stairmaster brand Stairmaster. I do not have a fantastic piece of cardio equipment at home. I have a treadmill, it kind of works. It doesn't really go fast enough for me. It doesn't have a high enough incline for me. Um, so I'm always stuck having to get to the gym even if it's just a cardio day. And that's an extra hour out of my day. You know, it's 20, 30 minutes, you know, one way and the other, in and out of the gym, taking the kids. Now I don't have to do that. So, uh, yeah, it's on its side, but you can see it. Stairmaster got on it at the thrift store and worked. I'm so excited. It is going for $1,700 right now used on eBay. And she took a donation because they're a donation th shop for animals for 200 bucks. So yeah, $200 so freaking excited right now um anyway so you know that's the thing when you put god in the middle the blessings rain down bye okay so um i'm just getting home from work actually i'm still in my car it's actually still running because if i go inside i have two children waiting for me and i won't get this video done um i'm three weeks out tomorrow so let's talk about some upsides and some downsides because I'm trying to stay positive right now. Upside. I have no doubt at this point that my conditioning will be in. I will be, the, the conditioning will be on point. That's great. The tie-ins are starting to come in. They're the last thing that show on me. So that's good. Um, I get to refeed tomorrow, thank God. Which brings us to the downsides. Um... I am so hungry. I am so hungry. And my head is fuzzy because my fats are, you know, being dropped right now in order to kind of harden me up some more. And I'm exhausted. It's it's the end and I can tell it's the end and my body can tell it's the end. I'm cold all the time because my body fat percentages are really low right now. Um and I'm just tired. So I just worked, um, I just finished working three twelves in a row, which I try not to do, but sometimes that's just the way my schedule has to do. And, um, you know, I work in the ICU right now. I'm in, I'm on contract with an ICU and I, I can't phone it in at work. I can't just show up and kind of, you know, stumble through the day because I'm an ICU nurse. So I gotta be on my toes. And yeah, my patients deserve that. I don't expect to be able to come to work and phone it in. But man, today was a struggle. It was a struggle. Um, I'm off the next two days, which is, I'm, I'm really glad. So anyway, you know, the times in prep that you just, you're just really glad that the end is very, in, very much in sight. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost there three weeks out tomorrow. I'm going to go home and go to bed. It's 8-12. I don't care. I'm tired. So I'm going to bed. Night, y'all.